Hi, you're watching Erin's Beauty Bloom and I'm Erin. And today we're going to talk more about hair. So this is going to be another um, product knowledge, um, product review. And so today I'm going to talk about um, the cleansing cream by Jessie Curl. So if you've been watching um, my other videos, I did a review on this new Cinegens Hair Care Line versus Monet. Monat. Monate. However y'all say it. Um, and that research got me thinking a lot about how the ingredients in different hair care products are affecting your hair and the, what the individual components are doing. And so um, my daughter has curly hair and I buy products to, you know, help reduce the frizz, etc. And so when I read about emotomethicone and um, other silicones on your hair and the effect of surfactants in the cycle, I was like, okay, this is interesting. I want to see what happens when you, you know, remove those products from your, from your hair care routine. And so I didn't specifically talk about that in the videos I did, but you guys can read it. You know, there's like the curly girl method. There's lots of blogs out there. They've done a great job researching it and explaining it. So, um, I recommend just checking that out, but, um, I wanted to review this product today because as you can see, I do not have curly hair. I mean, I ran the curling one through this. I have very straight hair. Um, but this cleansing cream is a shampoo alternative. There's a couple things that I really liked about this just in general is so you can choose to have fragrance or not. I think there's three options, no fragrance and then two, um, fragranced options. So there's different scents if you're into that. I really like that because I'm like, I don't need fragrance. Like my three year old's hair does not need to smell like perfume because that's weird. Um, the bottle's also made with 100% post-consumer plastic product. Awesome. Like, we don't need to make more plastic, right? There's plenty of plastic. We can just recycle it. Um, it also um, has the little bunny ear certification that it's not tested on animals. So that's cool. And certified gluten-free if that's important to you. And so um, I looked into the ingredients of this product. And so their um, website says, which if you've um, watched anything else I've done, I always talk about the term natural and how it's not regulated and companies can just use that term anytime they want. But they like say on there, like we don't claim to be natural. Like oh, we do use natural ingredients or we use naturally derived ingredients, but we don't claim to be natural because that's not a regulated term, which I love that. Okay, so I would wash my hair um, with your typical shampoos that have the harsher surfactants in them the day after the wash I would have like staticky hair it would be really flat and staticky um and so I was like you know I kind of hated washing my hair and I would drag it out as long as I could at least three or four days so I've used this twice and the first time I used it I used a lot because I was like okay it doesn't have the normal surfactants in it it's not gonna lather up so I'm going to use a lot. And it, I was right. It didn't lather up. Um, but my hair was not staticky that day. And so then what I never do is I washed it again yesterday. So two days in a row I've used this. The second time I used it, I did not use as much. Like I filled my hand full the first time. I did not use as much the second time. And again, not staticky. And so that was yesterday. And I how I would describe it is like day two hair. So normally I wash my hair one day, it, I, it's like weird staticky flyaways, and then the next day it's like normal hair. It was just normal. Um, I also use that my daughter's curly hair, and it's working great. I also got some um, unscented oil for her hair, which is helping a lot with the frizz. And so I live in Nevada, it's cold right now, and it's always dry hair. So, um, that is a combination for like a lot of loss of moisture from your hair and your skin. So um, increasing the moisture is really good. So I am like a fan of the products and now I'm going to just review the ingredients of the Jesse Curl Hair Cleansing Cream. Marketed for curly hair, also good for straight hair. Okay, so water is the first ingredient. It's a solvent and I chose the non-fragranced version. And then they've got a couple surfactants. And so you've got decal polyglucose and 
Um, this is a non ionic surfactant, which means the chemical arrangement is different from that of something like sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, it's partially derived from fatty alcohols. The second surfactant um, is derived from coconut oil. And studies show that this, um, abbreviated to SCI, um, that that surfactant is good because the particles are too big to penetrate the skin, so it's considered non-irritating. So um, the molecular weight is too big to penetrate the skin. That way it's just going to stay on top. It's not going to penetrate your skin and um, cause irritation like a lot of surfactants. Um, then we've got another derivative of coconut oil, a surfactant. And so all of these are considered to be non-irritating. Um, you know, surfactants get a bad name, but they're necessary to clean, clean your hair or your skin as it, you know, helps the dirt and oil mix with water to be washed away because if not they're not um one's oil and one's water so they're not going to mix so it helps that cleaning process occur and there's glycerin which in this product glycerin is a solvent and a humectant and so glycerin has um mixed reputation uh and a lot of cases that's based on what it's derived from so is it a vegetable glycerin product or is it derived from petroleum um glycerin um is a desirable solvent because unlike some forms of alcohol it doesn't penetrate the skin and it actually because it deposits um fatty acids and moisture it actually helps the skin repair its barrier function which improves the moisture gradient across the skin. So when your skin starts to dry out, the cells, the skin cells at the top lose their turgidity, they become flat, and that actually prevents other moisture from penetrating. So using glycerin as a solvent in products is gonna help reverse those effects. Pretty cool, right? Um, avocado oil, so like a lot of naturally derived oils, that is like an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, a form of guar chloride that is a conditioner, and then an anti-static that helps prevent, provide slip in shampoo products. And so this ingredient um, is has some concern assorted, uh, associated with it and it's considered to be a known allergen. Combination of cetyl and cetyl alcohols which works as an emulsifier and an opacifying agent so it makes the product um, look more white um, and a surfactant. And then there's a PEG in here and so PEGs are a general group of chemicals called polyethylene glycols, and they're of concern because of their low molecular weight. So PEG 150 has a molecular weight of 150. It's going to easily penetrate the skin, um, and that leads to concern for contamination. If the, if the process was contaminated in any way, whatever those contaminants are, they're going to easily penetrate your skin. And there's two preservatives, and like most preservatives, there is a connection um, with skin irritation and they're considered to be known allergens. Um, neither one of them are, they're not um, parabens, um, but preservatives by the very nature are kind of known to be irritating. So overall, um, I am happy with the ingredients and I'm really happy with the um, effects of using Jesse Curl products on my very straight hair. I, I love this and I, um, I am, this is no product, so I didn't put any like hairspray or anything. I just washed it, combed it, ran the curling wand through it. I'm pretty impressed with it. So um, try out Je Jesse Curl and check the description of this video for the ingredients and my little breakdown. I'll have some sources in there. Um, if you liked this video, follow Erin's Beauty Bloom on Instagram and um, Drop comments for more video ideas.